Hi everyone, Dave Gwinnon here, and I want to show you another really cool way to use the new Ali Inspector version 2 to basically uncover some wicked products that you could be having in your e-commerce stores. Now, more specifically, inside of Ali Inspector version 2, if you go to the product search tab here and then you click on manual input, you're going to see this here, the content button. If I click that, this is a, uh, a tool that can extract I'll express product links from any given content. Let me show you how to use this tool to uh, basically find some wicked products that you can have in your stores. Now, when you go to the AliExpress.com website, on the main page, there's always really cool stuff on here, and they're always updating this page, adding new things here, new pages, all sorts of cool stuff. Let me show you how you can utilize some of these awesome things they put on here. So at the time of recording this video, let me show you what they have here. So when you scroll down, you notice they have things like flash deals, Scroll down a little bit more, you could see they have like top selection, new for you, and all sorts of other things. Featured brands, stores you'll love, featured categories, all this sort of stuff. But you can also say, it says more to love, and they have all these things advertised on their home page, which usually indicates they're pretty popular. If they're gonna put them on their home page, they're gonna wanna make money, right? So these things could possibly be something that you can have in your store. So you can actually scroll down, you could see they keep adding to the page. But what I want to do is show you how you can extract those products and get all the data within Ali Inspector version 2 using that little tool I showed you. So let's go to the top selection here. Let's click here. And now they give you some categories here to investigate in. So let's say you go to Home and Garden and you'll see all these products. Well, I want to get all the data for these products. And as you scroll down, you'll notice that it automatically just keeps adding the products to your page. So one thing you can do to get more products is keep scrolling with your mouse or easier yet, you could just use the page down button on your keyboard. So I might click into the page and click page down. And then I can just hold it down for a little while. You can see it just keeps adding more and more products. So I'll just keep it held down for a little while. And then when you're done, just let go. And now what you can do is you can just right click on any of these. Now first, I'm using the Chrome web browser, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click and then I'm going to select inspect. And so what we've done here, now we're looking at the source code inside of the browser. And you can see as you hover over these little things, you can see this section of code is highlighting as you move your mouse over top of it. Well, these are actually the products and you can see them um, actually being highlighted as you highlight here, it'll highlight on the page. So these are the products and inside there, there's a product link that needs to be extracted. So here's all you have to do. You don't have to worry about all this stuff, it's complicated, don't worry about that. What we wanna do is try to scroll up to the very top and then come down a little bit and find the first item. You can see that's the first item right there. And you can see the little um, code there says LI. Just above that, you'll see UL. It's basically a list box. Well, if you see, if you hover over top of that, all the products that we just found there on this page, they all, they're all highlighted. So here's what you do. Just go to that UL and you right click and you go to copy and then select outer HTML, so copy outer HTML. And now we wanna just minimize that and go back to Ali Inspector, click that content button, and you can go paste. And just like that, now we can go extract links. Click extract links right here, and boom. 143 products that were on that page are now in here. Now I can go ahead and select the download threads I want and extract the data. So it's, it's pretty incredible. You can see how fast it is here. Now we have all the data we need for those products in the top selection part on AliExpress. Let's do another example. Let's say if we just go back to the home page again. And I want to look at, let's say for example, the flash deals. Click on flash deals. Again, they give us all these cool different categories. So, and we can go ahead and click on say, I don't know, accessories. And now we can do the same thing by holding down the, the uh, shift key, or sorry, not the shift key, the page down key on your keyboard. I guess they're only gonna show a limited amount in this particular category, but that's okay. Let's say you wanna get all this information anyways. You can right click, inspect, and again, you wanna go up. This time you can see each element's actually inside of a div content, but all you have to do is get to the one that's just above it. You can see it's like a, uh, kind of like a tree 
format here. So you can expand and collapse. So you want that highest one there, right click. Let's copy the outer HTML again, go back to here. And I'm just gonna clear out these links, bring up the content, let's clear that out. And now we're gonna paste the new content that was just pasted on our clipboard. Click extract links. It found 39 that was on that page. Now let's go ahead and extract those. So now we'll have the data from those 39 items from that particular flash deals. So they'll be at the bottom here. So you can see just how powerful this feature is. It's absolutely incredible. And let's try another one here. Let's go back to the home page and let's just scroll down the home page and you'll see at the very bottom there it's adding products on the home page. Now, like I said, these products are most likely popular or they could be based on your own personal searching as well. But still, these could be products that you can have in your stores and it'd be nice to investigate more than just the price in a picture. So again, I'm just gonna right click somewhere in here, inspect, and we'll see that again, it's a list. I'm just gonna go near the top until I can find the container in the tree. And there it is. And I'm gonna right click, copy, outer HTML and let's try the same thing again. I'm going to clear this out, clear this out, paste, extract. It found 200 links, 197. So I'll go ahead and I can go ahead and extract those as well. So I paused the video there a little bit. It was 377 products that we got in total now. Now if you use filters, I'm just going to go filters and then load filter file. And I have a pre-saved filter file here. And now it narrowed it down to 26 products. And I go ahead and click the preview. And now I can go and search these products to see if it'd be something that I would like to add to my particular store. Or it may give you more ideas for different niches that you could be getting into. And you could take a look at my filters file here. You can see I have a lot of filters. So, you know, e-packet orders, ratings, the weight, all that kind of stuff. Whatever filters you like, all you have to do is just add your filter you want. Click in here, add what you want, say something in the title that contains the word dog or something like that. And then you can apply it. And you can save your filters by clicking save and you can save your filter file to your computer, to whatever you want. But that's a really powerful feature and I highly recommend using this manual input and the content button. I find that this is a very underused feature that is so powerful for you to uncover things that people may have not even thought of. Again, going back to aliexpress.com, there's so many cool options, different pages you can go and explore. And maybe at the time of watching this video, there might be other things available in here that you wouldn't have thought of. So anyhow, that's the video I want to show you. Some quick tips on how to use that awesome feature within Ali Inspector version two. Thanks for watching.